Hello, and welcome to Minecraft World Domination. I suppose this would be season two. I've lost my previous world with my old laptop, and yeah, so I guess we're gonna start a new one. I kept trying this whole hardcore thing, but I kept dying around the 100 mark, and I hated just uploading one video, and then that world's just gone. So we're gonna start this fresh. What a classic world underscore domination seed. It should be implied, but for those of you who are unaware, world domination is a very basic concept. We take a world and we make it our own. And, um, oh, yes. You know, sometimes you just get lucky with things and this is one of those times. I love it. I love it already. It's flat, my favorite trees. What more could you want to start? You have food, you have clear space, and I think the first thing we're gonna need is shelter. Is this like an actual tree or what is this? It spawned at least one block. It only one block, wow, okay. And I'm saying we make the most of this as fast as possible. Let's jump right up to good old fashioned cobblestone. And uh, sheep, sheep are important. So I think I'm gonna start with that instead. However, I don't enjoy the whole pickaxe. I don't enjoy using a stick. I'm hoping a pickaxe would be a bit more effective. Yes. And we got a third. Which means we have a bed. No, no phantoms. Not today. Just starting and restarting worlds so many times. I got, I got a bit of a routine going on now. Spawn. Get some wood. Make a wood pickaxe. Get wool. Use up the rest of that wood pickaxe and cobblestone. That seems to be the only repetitive part of my process, but outside of that, I more or less just wing it. Now I gotta hope I remember where I was. And as much as I hate to say it, we're starting this at zero zero. So zero zero is right here. I guess I'll indicate that with some cobblestone. We're also gonna want a furnace, but I'm just gonna do one for now. See how many stone tools I can get out of this. I'm thinking I'm gonna convert this whole stack load here. We gotta pick axe. Axe. Hoe. Shovel, very standard. I'm guessing this is gonna be kind of my workplace for a little bit, so I'll just kind of bunker it down here. And I'll put some food in the furnace, but we don't really have anything really to cook it with. So I'm just gonna use the rest of the wood. That bamboo, I, I completely forgot about that. This is the jungle. Ooh, that's gonna get me killed. Jungle's so far promising. Cocoa beans, a lot of bamboo. Like a lot, a lot of bamboo. Like we don't have to worry about this for a long time. Let's start checking out some trees here. I'm trying to find like the average height that they grow. I'm just trying to get an idea of it. We got a little entrance here, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna ignore the coal and stick with the charcoal route. Now to optimize time and efficiency, I'm thinking what I can do is quite literally just make a base out of bamboo. And the rest of the bamboo, take the wood out, replace it with the bamboo just so we can actually put the use. Convert all the oak over. We can use these oaks for chests. I can get two out of it. It's good enough for me. I'm pretty confident I want to start this build with jungle. It's a different approach. And I guess the next step is just starting out a little base. And for the day, we're not looking for much. We just need a little place that we can call home. Now the other question is, are we really going to use all these logs to fill in the floor? This seems like kind of a waste, you know? But I guess the answer is yes. Because I kind of like that. Convert these over the planks. And we've now started a new build. However, we're going to need more wood. We also have to convert some of this wood into charcoal too. That's important to remember. Um, here's that. Now I think it's just a matter of working on the frame. This looks more like a true jungle log. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna rip this bad boy apart. At least it's like wide. I can just kind of staircase my way up. And hopefully that's enough planks to actually like accomplish my goals. <laughs> I know it's not, but a boy can be wishful, right? Oh, ah. I'm on fire. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, so we need food and we need to heal up. That's scary. It's scary, sheep. I don't like it one bit. I'm actually go into our chest now and see what we don't need. Jungle sapling we can put in here. I'm actually gonna deposit some of the jungle logs in here. We have some more jungle planks, some of them too. I like to get a reference for all the colors that I can work with. I guess now just a matter of building up. One, two, three, four. Let's start with four and see how much we like that. And we can connect the top as such. Try to be consistent. So if I'm doing one arch like this, I wanna do all the arches like this. I guess now we're gonna want some sand, which I don't think is gonna happen. But we are gonna need doors. We're gonna need eight to be specific. I want doors on each side. Oh, I made way too many. But you know, it's all part of the process. Of course, we can establish the bottom row. I guess I'll put in the top row too. I think these two are pretty uh, pretty standard. You know, it's too early to be obsessing about the nitty gritty, but I like to put some thought into it. I like to have an idea for the future. And I think that just about does it for now. The central hub 
We still need a roof. I'll work on that. I put the door funny. Eventually it will annoy me. It annoys me now. I'm saying we keep it cool. We keep it clean. We keep it simple. And this is like that. But these ones aren't. So I'm thinking I'm going to want to fix that. I'll put a temporary block here. and do that. That makes it just feel more like it's supposed to be here. Plus it gets rid of these awkward corn. Oh, I stripped it. Plus it gets rid of these awkward corners. Where like one log is kind of going that way. One log is kind of going this way. The textures are clearly different. This is a nice little separating point. I guess it's just a matter of repeating the process until we get a full roof. I guess it makes sense. The top one could just be like that. <laughs> it looks kind of funny, I suppose, but it works. It, it does look funny, actually. But then the outsides are showing. Maybe I should just cut it off here. Break this. We'll make some planks. It looks better. We can go in, destroy these temporary blocks. So what I'm thinking right now is I'm going to get a chest specifically for jungle things. I want to see how the jungle stuff looks before I just start taking it out and placing it. And these little outposts don't really offer a lot of accessibility, clean accessibility. This is more of a temporary workplace. It bugs me because I know no matter where I place things down right now, nothing is going to look right. But I have to remember, it's a marathon. Little details now aren't that important. But we got a jungle log. I'll just get like a few of each for reference. We have the jungle door. We got the strip jungle log. I'm actually curious, can I strip? No, I don't think you can strip the planks. I think it's just a log thing. I guess the best way to find out would be to move everything inside. Now we do need some more sticks. I'm just gonna make a lot of these, convert these over the torches real quick. And I guess I'll make the center line kind of the light level line for now. It's the most symmetrical and I like my symmetry. Now that's a matter of a question. What else can we do with these logs here? So now apparently we put down these logs here and then we strip them, break them back up. We could take four of these logs for three jungle wood. Oh, it's like an overall, it's the same exact thing except it's on all sides. You know what? I like that. I would need a lot more of them to actually do anything with it, but welcome to the collection jungle wood. So I got the strip jungle wood, which you convert the jungle planks. You can also make strip jungle wood. What's the difference between these two? This is the strip jungle wood and it's the same ordeal where it's the texture without the ends, just in strips form. So they found a unique little way to get everything in there. I'm thinking the stairs are only planks, which is unfortunate. I wish you can do it with logs and make like a log, a log jungle stair thing. But either way, I want this place to have stairs. What if I do something like this? I mean, it's a start for sure. I don't know. If I do it in all the layers, there wouldn't be any darkness to it. Like, is there any way I can make these stairs darker? Until then, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I don't really think it's worth finagling with. I guess now the biggest issue is we need food. I don't have any wheat or crops or anything going. So I guess it's just animals. Hi, cow. I'm so sorry for what I'm about to do to you. Cows don't really provide much in beef. I think the better supplier for food is just pigs. But the overall best is chickens, because chickens can actually kind of reproduce themselves. Oh, I'm a dummy. I think I used oak planks up there, and then jungle down here. We're going to have to make sure we keep oak out of the mix. We do have some more jungle saplings, so I think I'm going to start planting these around. Alright, so I'm thinking miscellaneous chests. I can kind of just put up high, somewhere where it's, I'm not going to really see it ever. Like, we're trying to avoid using the oak for now. But I want to have it on hand still. Now that I'm here, I'm going to get these doors fixed. I'm also thinking, because I know these two are going to be walkways, I'd rather have, like, planks as the walkways, as opposed as to the logs. It gives it a more seamless feel. I guess we can get the doors back on, but just make sure we put them on right. There we go. So right now, chest up high means don't really play with it. It's more extra. This is my primary storage here. And we do have some seeds. We might as well just kind of get those rolling. There is a water source down here. Not the greatest spot in the world, but it's a spot. I guess while we're here, we can start filling all this in. Ooh, there's like a cave down here. We shouldn't need too much. Yeah, I only have 11 seeds, so that's not exactly a lot. But it's enough to get us started. Got some pumpkins. I don't really, this isn't really a pumpkin-like feel to me. Like, kind of got a feel of what I'm going for in this world. And it doesn't really, pumpkins don't really fit in that equation. But it's good to have, I guess. We'll see what comes of it. And working away. Iron, hello. And where have you been my whole life? Hopefully it's like a lot. Eh, a three vein will do. It's enough to get a bucket. Now we just gotta get back to base, which is uh, proving to be hard. Iron, hooray for iron. Pop that in here. I guess a little terraforming never hurt anyone. 
upset me a lot. Let's get two shovels, and we'll use up the remainder of this one, which might be like, what, one block? And over here is the bigger issue of the world being not flat. Actually, there is a spider. Spider drop string. I have a lucky opportunity. There we go. Two string, too. I think I only need one more. And now we're digging it all out. And yeah, three shovels. I got us like what? I have no idea, actually. I don't know how much dirt had on me before I started digging, so it's kind of difficult to tell. But we do have three iron. And three iron means a bucket. And a bucket means mobile water. I'm gonna pop this water source right on zero zero. We now have an infinite water source right at the middle of our world. Yes, we can. We can make a fishing rod. If I'm also not mistaken, we can fish here. Wait, why is this like this? There we go. And yep, I didn't get a fish, but I got boots and I'll take that. <laughs> now I'm, I'm gonna want another chest. Just one for now. I'm gonna put that right over here. Primarily just dirt. It's gonna be a dirt chest. It's gonna be one dirty chest. You know, I did a lot of digging right there. I didn't actually clear out like the part I needed to. So I'm thinking the next step for right now is to go back and do it just a little bit more. I want this area flat and I'll go through great lengths to make that happen. And let's see, two shovels in, it got us a little over three stacks, about a stack and a half each. Which, eh, not that bad. I feel like that number's increased. I feel like it was more along the lines of one last time I did this, but what do I know? Oh, I had a lot more dirt and I didn't count it right. So I don't know still, but it's a little flat and I'm gonna get another shovel. I'm gonna dig out six blocks in each direction and I'm gonna fill these in with wood planks. Two, three, four, five. I actually need to go one more over here. And while I'm here, I'm gonna break down this bamboo. It's gotten to the point where I think it's just gonna be in the way. However, I am gonna replant it. I'm gonna replant it right over here. So like one there. I guess everywhere there's not a light source. So just like this, go oopsies. Going around the building, we hit the corners right. And that actually won't grow very tall, if it grows at all. But it might look cool. Right, we'll see how it goes. It's a work in progress. All the little aesthetics. Might as well test the details now. The way I'm thinking now is I'm thinking charcoal will make a beautiful building block. And a more expensive building block. Because it's one thing to build cool things. It's another thing to build cool things out of materials that are harder to find. The harder to find, the harder to get, the more expensive. The more expensive the build, the more impressive the build. And it's simply my logic. When you mix the aesthetic, the creativity and the materials together, you get the quality of a piece. I know I'm gonna wanna get the bedrock, and I know I wanna build an automatic sorting device at bedrock. I also know I wanna build an automatic sorting device at the center of the world. So let's just combine the best of all worlds, and we can start building this all out right here. I know I'm gonna want this area gone in the future, so I might as well just get my resources from that area. And voila, that looks kinda cool actually. That looks really cool, I'm digging this. But I also kind of want to just take away, like, two layers from this. I might regret this decision, but I'm going to go for it. I feel like a sculptor right now. And I already foresee this becoming a problem, so I'm going to light this up with torches real quick. Looks okay. I'm thinking we need to gather a bit more wood now. I wish all jungle trees would grow about this size. It's much more manageable to work with. I'm thinking we should just extend the bridge here, or the walkway all the way out to just the end of the chunk. And I guess we can start using some of this dirt to actually uh, fill in this flat part. All right, now that's in place, we can kind of level out the rest and then we can continue the same pattern downward. And this is kind of there. I feel like I'm missing a point, but I'm definitely missing a point because I have to be there. But I'm just gonna start working on the other sides and hopefully this will start to come together a bit more. And voila. I guess for what the sake of that was for, it's done. Now the next thing on my agenda is, I know I don't want this walkway to be a 2. I want it to be at least a 4 for the walkway. So I'm going to go through and change that now. Which is going to take a little bit more wood than I thought. Having these dirt blocks here right now is okay. I don't mind that. I don't mind making the bridge a little bit larger right now. It does look disproportionate to the actual building. Because the building's small. And the bridge is long. 
but the building being that small is temporary and even when the building built outward onto what this is now a bridge the bridge is going to act as its new flooring so it's helping me now sculpt a better picture for myself and it's also laying down the future works kind of a win-win for the fun of it i don't know if this is going to stay very long but i want to trim it up now just for some temporary lighting i'm thinking i want to get some torches just along these edges here just to ensure that nothing's going to spawn but in order to do that, we're going to need some more wood. And hooray for vines. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. Now we can just kind of dig down on it. I changed my mind about everything I said. Jungle is officially my favorite log to work with. Alright, well, let's convert this iron we got from that little quarry digging to an iron pick. Convert the rest of these into pickaxes. We might be down there for a while. A few possibilities. We can continue back up there. We can hit in from over here. We have quick access to a ravine. However, I'm thinking if we start a spiral staircase here, all the way down the bedrock, we'll have a nice foundation to work with. I'm probably going to get a water source here and then to start working my way down. I don't really know. This definitely doesn't seem like the best way to approach it, but I know I'm going to want this area gone. And I'm going down anyway, so I might as well just like work on it and yeah this is a pretty effective way of approaching it you just kind of hold shift and let yourself fall onto the block that's next in line on the stair and we got a decent amount of wood to play with i shouldn't have converted all of those that was dumb but we definitely have enough to finish up this trim here actually before i continue i want to continue doing what i was doing before i just want to make sure all these stairs are properly lit because i do plan on closing this up all right, this definitely won't be enough to complete the project, but we got a little bit of a little bit of the jungle log here. I don't like that, but that's going to be covered up, so I don't mind as much. But we have a good reference. It takes about a stack to get all the way around. And wow, we made it. Oh, okay. As contradicting as it may be, I'm thinking I need to get some dirt out and do a tad bit more refilling. But I think I lost my shovel somewhere in the process. Um, that required a bit more dirt than I expected, but I'm going to do that all the way around. We know that melons and pumpkins don't require a water source. It just requires a dirt block for the rest of it to fall onto. So I'm thinking step one is to just lay out these blocks, retrieve our hoe wherever it is going. We got some melons and we got some pumpkins. I think we have to convert both of these to seeds. So we got pumpkin seeds, convert these into melon seeds. I think I'm going to do two of the walkways melon, two of the walkways pumpkins, or as close as I can get to that. And then this other walkway here, make these bad boys pumpkins. Depending on how it looks, I'll go from there as to what gets planted where. I'm thinking we could do like the five here and then get bamboo, maybe? I feel like that's going to look awkward. Like typically the base is the highest part of the build and everything else is growing below it. I think it will look okay enough to pass. And it will also start giving us a foundation to start expanding the crop. Bamboo is my primary source of fuel. I feel like that's standard practice. We haven't really utilized the edges over here, but that could always be changed. So I'm thinking right now, we and I only got six cocoa bean seeds to work with. So I'm gonna go harvest a few more before I start planting these. And Mojang, this is broken. <laughs> that was a broken cocoa seed hanging from dirt. And I'm thinking, I can plant one on either sides facing inward and one can go here and here it, and uh, it just seems silly not to do all four sides I mean I think harvesting is going to be kind of tight but it's a rough draft it doesn't have to be perfect the first time around but we need more cocoa seeds we need more beans we need the beans chicken I love you I don't know how many more we need so I'm just going to grab all of them so I'm thinking I'm going to put a stream of water right there because part of it's for growing, part of it's for aesthetic. And maybe a little pond right there too. I mean, if we're really going for aesthetic, we might as well just put a middle one in as well. And yeah, this seems like a good design for the time being. And then it's a matter of just filling it up with water. And I'm thinking I'm going to start by trying to fill in the long one first. Just so I have a little infinite source outside of the base. Oh, oh no. Okay, we're under attack. Well, I didn't see that coming. My base wasn't really built for protecting myself. Alright, well it's going to have to do. Because we are under attack. I've done this in the past. Hopefully it will stay effective. Yeah, okay. Oh, we got the ominous banner. Nice. 
I'll hang you up right up there. Right there. Gl glorious. I shall start my Hall of Fame. But, in my experience, there's typically... Yeah, they're up there still. Maybe if I just sleep, they'll go away. Ah, uh, wishful thinking. They're just gonna hang out and stalk me. So I'm just gonna ignore them and get back to what I was doing. And hope they don't bother me. Seems like the most effective way to handle the situation. It is done. The water sources, that is. Now it's just a matter of just filling back in this dirt. I'm just gonna keep attacking them and hope something happens. Now they seem to be pretty mad by that. So, let's try this. I'm out of sticks. Oh boy. Yep, they're in. I think I should put windows on this place. Comes back to the whole I need glass. Alright, let's get some food. Let's knock this guy out real quick. Ooh. XP. They didn't seem to drop their crossbows. I shouldn't be doing this part, but I am anyway. I'm just gonna fence post these off. I'm not digging this water source. I'm thinking it needs to be better. I think that's a fine line between practical and looks kind of cool, maybe. Like this is already too much water, considering that what's gonna be planted here is wheat. Eh. I mean, if we're going overboard, I might as well just go overboard. Eh, it looks silly, but I'll just stick with it. And besides, at this current point in time, I don't have that many weed seeds to work with. I haven't really been tending to the garden. But, everything is ready to harvest, so let's see where we're at. The changes might have killed it. Oh no, we had just enough. That looks... okay. You know, it's not awful. And I'm thinking we're gonna need a few more touches. Few more little logs, kind of blend this all together. Maybe a few torches here, but right now I'm thinking we're gonna find a nice angle, probably a nice 45 degree-ish, maybe like right here. And I've never done this before, so I'm trying to set up a fairly safe place. But I want to see what this looks like in like a time lapse. And I'm thinking I found a way to kind of just trap myself right here. I'm just gonna let this be for a while, and let's see what happens. 